Herbs and spices are fragrant plants that have medicinal or culinary value in their leaves, stems, roots, flowers, bark or seeds. They are easy to grow and most occupy less space in the garden. Once established, a majority require little attention to flourish. They can be sold to supplement a farmer's income. There has been an increase in the demand for herbs and spices both locally and internationally as people recognize their high nutritional and health value. It has also been noted that herbs and spices prices do not fluctuate like those of other produce. In today's episode at Spice It Up, we get to learn how to plant and harvest chamomile. Meet Joyce Muhure Thiongo, a retired teacher, now a farmer growing a variety of crops that include maize, beans, kelts, and chamomile. I'm Joyce Muhure Thiongo. I come from Kiawara. I'm a farmer. And here we are is my farm. And I plant a lot of things. I have maize, I have beans. I keep, I keep chicken, cows, and also I plant this special plant called chamomile. This plant is very special to me because when I started planting it in 2020, I've seen a lot of change economically. It is good, use just a small portion of my land, and then I get some money. So it's better than all these others have been planting. Chamomile is a centuries-old established traditional medicinal herb popular in the Western world. The dry flower of chamomile contains approximately 120 secondary metabolites, comprising the terpenoids and the flavonoids, which contributes to its medicinal properties. It is available in two varieties, namely the German chamomile and the Roman chamomile. The German chamomile is sweet-scented, with tiny leaves and flowers that have a hollow cone-shaped receptacle with tiny yellow disc-like flowers covering the cone. There are many types of chamomile, but the ones that I know, there are only two. We use, uh, the one that we are, growing, we are growing here, it is the one that ori originated from Germany. And we have another one, because we have not, uh, we have not seen it, we can't talk more about it. This one is German chamomile. And let me say, I have not seen the other type. And the Samo Empire are the ones who introduced me to this one. And I think they had done research and found that this one can do well here. Joyce Muhure farms the German chamomile and says that the first steps of planting process are land and soil preparation. The soil pH should be corrected to desired levels that are 6.5 to 7.5. Joyce, however, being an organic farmer, uses mulch to maintain the soil moisture and pH. Chamomile seeds do not require deep holes to plant them. In most cases, it is beneficial to add well-rotted cattle or poultry manure per hectare and plow well before the direct seeding or planting of the young seedlings. The nursery bed is also mulched for the moisture to be retained. We start with the nursery bed. Then I mix my soil with some manure, good manure. I mix well. After mixing, then I spread my seeds carefully, and especially very early in the morning or in the evening, because the seeds are light, as you see them when we go there. So you have to plant them in the morning or in the evening, because this place, this place of ours, it is very windy. So you plant in the morning or in the evening, and we spread. Then you put a little soil on top of to cover it well, so that it will not be blown by the, by the weed. After doing that, take a, a sprinkler or a, a jelly can, put some water, water your nursery, nursery seed, and then you cover it with the grass. The seeds of chamomile are planted in the prepared land and left till they germinate, that is after nine days. After the seeds have germinated, they are transplanted. Transplanting requires watering, as this ensures the plant root stays intact. This black cotton oil soil is the best for the chamomile. 
because it is it, it, it does not stick it is it, it is somehow it spreads very very quickly water will go manure and then my plant will not dry yeah like the cotton the, the I mean the the clay soil is not like a clay soil where, where we plant and then it, it, it clumps this one spreads very well the crop needs special operations and management, such as shading it from the sun and more irrigation sessions once it has germinated. In the nursery, I use manure. I put manure aside, I cultivate, you can see it there. I cultivate well, I mix the soil, soft, I make it very soft, because these things are really light, the seeds. After now plant, uh, spreading, spreading, I cover, then I water. That is a necessary bed. Yeah. When I'm going to transplant, I, I, I dig a hole. Come on, five centimeters square is enough. Because it does not need very deep holes, because the roots does not go deep. They spread almost on the surface. So you have to keep on. And then, after now transplanting, after three weeks, I mush. I put some mushing on this because it is very tender. I mush it. Then when I pour some water, it will not, as I have told you, this one area is dry. So I have to mush it so that it can retain the moisture. Your chamomile plants will most probably produce a minimum yield, even if you do not take any measures towards soil analysis, improvement, and soil preparation. After nine days, I'll, I'll, I'll now take my seeds I check my seeds whether they are, have germinated. Nine to ten days. After I see that they have germinated because they well do, nafugua, then I start watering lightly. Not this heavy watering, lightly day after day as they grow up. Then I continue like that for a number of days. After one week, they have now produce the first green plants. From there now, you can now water the, 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 as much water as you want because these plants need a lot of water, especially when this in a service. Chamomile does well in black cotton soil. However, the best yield for commercial cultivation are often achieved in sandy loam deep soils with pH close to seven and a good drainage. When I'm just planting them, I first of all, water my seed bed and I, water, I, and I make it very wet so that when I'm going to uproot it I'll take it with that black soil from the bed then I'll, t I'll take it to my hole where I've prepared with some manure and when, I, when I'm, I'm planting it I mix the soil with water I don't plant it on dry soil I mix it very well I make a liquid then I plant it there, when the liquid has not disappeared in the soil. So from there, it will take maybe 24 hours before it dries up. And by then, it will have uh, now spread well, the roots will start now working, and it will continue, and then I'll shed it. After transplanting the crop, it takes one and a half months to reach maturity. That is the time when it starts to bloom, and it blooms white flowers. For proper yield production of the chamomile plant, Joyce Muhure uses organic fertilizer to boost and increase production. It is used as a top dresser and frequent irrigation is also crucial. Yes, you have to boost it. We boost it with organic fertilizer. We have it, it, is not, it doesn't have any chemical. We use it, we top dress, dress with it. Then it, and after watering, it will, it will be boosted, yeah. I'll shade it again with some green leaves. Shading is, come a planting, some cuttings allowed my plant. Then I water it. Because now the sprinkling of the water will keep my plant wet. And that's why specifically green leaves, yeah. Because once you put the, the dry ones, you might end up putting a lot of water and it will uproot. So once you put a little of, uh, I mean, the green leaves, the water will keep on 
sprinkling on my plant. The plant also is taken care by frequent weeding and mulching. Is that putting some leaves around my chamomile plant so that the water I have while there does not evaporate quickly to make my plant dry. At her farm, she uses the dry harvested branches to mulch her plants. This prevents weeds from growing. We take a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Spicy Tap. If you just joined us, today we are learning on chamomile crop. Our major interest is in the planting, care and harvest of the crop. Chamomile is a herbal tea which is not affected by a lot of pests and diseases. Joyce says within the first two weeks after transplanting, she notices aphids, which she controls by spraying water. This plant does not have many diseases. What I have experienced there are a few aphids after the first, second week after transplanting. So what I do, I only put a lot of water, like in a, using a sprinkler. So they drop the aphids and then my plant continues. Another advantage of planting chamomile is it takes a small piece of land and the yield is huge since it is harvested weekly. For example, now what is uh, on the farm, these are 400 plants. And you can see the area it has taken. So one advantage of planting this chamomile, it takes a very little, little area compared to the others. And like now this one, I've already harvested 40 kilos. And it, it is only a, a, a small area, you can see it. The harvesting process is quite simple. Start harvesting chamomile flowers in the morning after the dew has evaporated, but before the sun is high. Select the flowers that are nearly open. Pinch the stalk just below the flower head and pop off the bloom. Collect them in a tightly woven basket. The flowers that are done blooming gives you an opportunity to collect seeds. Harvesting, because I have I, I harvest the stalk, I cut it with my fingertips so that it does not break because I don't know whether it is a machine but the finger does it very well yeah you cut it with it and then put in a container before you take it to the dryer yeah after harvesting let's say on Monday I harvest it on Monday and this one takes four days to harvest so I start from Monday Tuesday Wednesday and maybe Thursday and by the next week where I started it has flowered again so it flowers every week and that is why I harvest every week and that is why I get money every week yeah this one because I've not finished now picking when I assess it it will go up to 60 kilograms the harvested chamomile is dried. It takes one week for it to dry. Be sure to lay them out in a single layer so they dry quickly. This is done inside in a cool, dry, well-ventilated area. I spread it on a clean place, a clean, a clean sheet, whatever you, you, that is now. You are, you are just so long as this clean because this one is edible. I spread it in somewhere that is clean, then it withers. Within the first two days, it has withered. Then from there, I keep on now turning it up and down so that once that were down, it will come up so that it does not rot. After now drying it for, for a week, it, it takes a week to dry because I sell every week. After drying, I keep it in, in an open carton whereby it, will be, it, it can stay there for longer before I take it to the market, because I can keep for this week, I've not taken to the market, another week, so I have to preserve it well in an open place, yeah. 
Although chamomile can be dried in the sun, this method is often discouraged since the sun causes the herbs to lose color and flavor. Chamomile has a high demand in the market due to its health benefits and also due to the rising demand for the plant-based products. The market is aided by the growing chamomile market, which is expected to witness a healthy growth. When you say the demand is there, the demand is high because I sell every week. And if I compare it with my potatoes, there is no comparison. So this one goes every week, every week, every week. And even my neighbors now are envying it. They want to plant it. Yes, now I've got three neighbors here. They want to plant it. Yeah. And, and yet, I've not satisfied the market. Yeah. Chamomile preparations are found to be beneficial in many human ailments. It is well known for its essential oils with a pleasant aroma. It is used extensively for supplementing cosmetic products and in aromatherapy. Chamomile in the form of herbal tea is becoming increasingly popular with more than a million cups of chamomile tea consumed daily worldwide. It has gained significant attention as a health promoting herb with demonstrable effects against several diseases of old age. Chamomile plant has got a lot of health benefits. One, there are so many, but I cannot mention them all. This one, it, it, it helps in my digestion. When I take it, I've got a problem in digestion. It eases my digestion. If I've got a problem with my sleep, I, I, I relax very well, that is isomania. I feel so relaxed, I sleep well, and I wake up the right time in the morning. Dried chamomile flowers are used to make chamomile tea, which reduces menstrual pains, treats diabetes, lowers blood pressure, and helps with sleep and relaxation. Cam chamomile is a herbal tea, and it is very good for our health. If you take a cup in the morning, you feel relaxed. You start your work, you start a good day. So it, it, it refreshes you. Chamomile is usually well tolerated and side effects are rare. Patients with allergies to plants in the daisy family should avoid chamomile because an allergic reaction may be triggered. Any farming venture has its challenges and this too does not withstand. As a chamomile farmer, the challenges I've, I've seen are the laborers. We don't have people who are able to cut it and, and pick, it, pick it and pick it quickly. The, uh, and the other challenges, the other challenge that I can say are faced, it is the cash. It should be added. And they, they have promised me, the, some empire have promised me they are going to add. Yes, because <laughs> the sweetness of any job is what you get. This is all we had for you here today on Spice It Up. Stay tuned next week for more exciting episodes. And do not forget to subscribe to our social media handles at Farm Kenya.